I have kind of a kidney shaped slot in my part on both sides. So I've offset my contour to the center. What I want to do is take a 3 8 tool, because the distance from here to here is 3 8 and just tell it to follow this line, but as it does, ramp down and through the part. To do that, from the drop down menus, I'm going to select Tool Paths, Contour. I'll accept the name, turn on Construction Plane Chaining, set my color masking to pink, and I'm going to use Single Chaining option and select my offset contour. I'll accept this selection. So in the contour window I'm going to go to a tool and I'm going to select the tool from the library and I'll go to filter. If I'm not sure of the diameter of my slot I'll just right click here and tell it the diameter of an arc. And I can see it's 3 8 so I'll accept that. Then I'll choose my 3 8 ml and accept that setting. So here in the tool window again just cutting wood, turn the RPM up to 6,000. I'm plunging down in, so I'll set the feed rate to about 125 inches a minute. Enable Rapid Retract and give an appropriate comment. Next in my cut parameters, I need to shut the compensation type to off so the center of the tool follows the geometry I chained and the contour type is ramp. So I have the choice here to set the angle to ramp in or a depth each time or tell it to plunge. I'm just going to leave the ramp angle at 3 degrees. I'm going to uncheck one-way ramping. That will allow it to zigzag back and forth. The rest of these settings are good. Go to lead in, lead out and shut them off because the tool must ramp down into the part. I'll enable the breakthrough so that's a 25 to 50 thou. And in my linking parameters, I'll choose the depth from the geometry at the bottom of the slot. And I don't really need to retract. And I like to set my feed plane to 100 thou. Make sure the coolant's not on. Accept these selections. And you can see I have a ramping tool path. And if I backplot that, we can see the tool ramps down into the part. So we'll pause it, look at the front view, change my solid shading to wireframe. And now when I backplot, we can clearly see the tools ramping down in and through the part. Turn the solid back on, make it somewhat see-through. I'm happy. We'll close that and save my file.